the most exciting uh, musical project I've ever been involved with. It's a special kind of thing. It's overwhelming, it really is. I love it. These are glory days for Bruce Springsteen. Chicago, Detroit, New York, Washington, San Francisco, sellouts all. Glory days, too, for the E Street Band, the unsung heroes of the biggest sustained rock and roll phenomenon since Elvis. After a year and a half on the road, some 160 exhilarating exercises in rock celebration, it's high time we met the band behind the man. Saxophonist Clarence Clemens, a star in his own right, with his own band and outside projects that take him all the way from E Street to the freeway of love. Guitarist Niels Lofgren, who had a successful solo career dating back to his teens before replacing Miami Steve Van Zandt in Bruce's band. It's like joining a new family and having everybody in the family be great. Keyboard player Danny Federici. I get just enough recognition. Well, I could stand a bit more. Just a little bit more. Keyboard player Roy Bitten, whose credits run the gamut from Bowie to Broadway. I've done a lot of different things along the way. Bassist Gary Talent, who's been on every Springsteen record. I can't imagine doing anything else. Singer Patty Schialfa, who tried to get into the band as a teenager. When I called him, I was in high school. He said to me, he said, are you in school? I said, yeah. He goes, no. And drummer Mighty Max Weinberg. I've been with Bruce since 1974, and uh, the bulk of the E Street Band has, uh, has been together since then. And uh, it's always been the same. So though maybe we're more in the public eye this year, uh, our basic approach has never changed. When I came into the band, uh, right off the bat, emotionally, uh, the people, everyone in the band made me feel completely at home. We were all kind of taken from each other, you know, because that's the point of it. We're a team. When we started off on this tour, we hadn't played together as a band. We've played in the studio and doing our parts. But when Bruce counted off the first song of rehearsal after like three years from not playing together, uh, he went one, two, three, four, and we all played the same song. You know, that's how, how close it is. It's still, uh, it's still amazing to me, yeah. It's, it's amazing to me that uh, we sort of uh, do what we do, and uh, each time it's, it's gotten, just gotten much more intense and more successful and much bigger. This is everything I've ever dreamed of, you know, when I was uh, 14 years old and picked up a guitar, and this is, you know, you want to be with a great band and tour the world, and here we are, we've done it. It's a very safe environment, right? Uh, being on the road for a year and a half, I'm really protected, and um, you're making great music all the time. So you have that outlet, and it's always satisfying. E Street has turned out to be a long, hard road these past 18 months, but the members of Bruce's band have traveled it together. I'm going to look back and say it was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. Uh, there's been so many great moments on this tour uh, that, uh, personally, if I never do it again, I just had a great time. <laughs>